Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. This is a pretty typical kind of shot that you'll be doing a lot of these kind of little basic trick photography things with wedding photography. This one's pretty easy to do and there are just a few things to understand on how this works. Let's just first analyze this. We have a vignette happening here with a soft edge on that. So here's a little soft edge. There's a rose. Notice that the rose is in behind the frame. So the picture is on top of the rose and then those are both of course faded out. It's straightforward. Let's just see what is done with this. You know, the approach to actually achieve this. First off, let's talk about doing that basic vignette. I'll grab the elliptical marquee tool up here and I'm just going to just pull an ellipse like that on the page. Now when you have that done, if we go over here to the move tool and I move that, you see it just clips that out, but we have a hard edge on there. So this will be giving us a hard edged vignette. Let's just undo that and I'll deselect. Now the softness of the edge is controlled by the feather right here. This where it says feather. Let's set this for a 20 pixels feather. There we go. I'll do the same thing. Pull that in. Let's just pull that aside. And you can see now we have a softness to that edge. So that's where that soft edge comes from. The soft edge comes from the feathering of the marquee that you're using. Okay, let's just back up that move. Now you don't really want to be doing that. You don't want to be cutting your picture out and moving it like that because then you destroy your original shot and you can't get back to it. So let's take a look at how to handle that kind of an issue without damaging our original picture. The first thing you want to do is just to copy your background, drag it down to the new layer button like that, copy it, hide it, so I now have a protected copy of the background untouched. My picture is untouched down here. We'll, we'll, we'll be spending all of our time up on this one. Now, in order to even protect this and to give us some ability to go back in and make adjustments, you don't want to just cut that out. You can do that. It's easy to do. Let me just demonstrate that very quickly here. This is the, the fast, easy way to do this. I'm just going to fill that background layer with white set now it has white on it. Let's go up here, grab the elliptical marquee, lay that 20 feather on there. I'm going to invert this. Invert. So now the outside is selected, hit the delete key, and there you go. You know there is your nice elliptical vignette with that soft edge. The problem with this is is that I can't change that. You know, once that's done, it's done. I'd have to go back and make another copy of my background. So I don't have any ability to go back in and modify or adjust, which is nice to be able to do. So let's see how we can do that. I'll just back up a couple of steps here. There we go. And then deselect. Now the way to do this so that we can come in and be able to adjust is to use a layer mask instead of just doing that trick. Now the layer mask button is right down here or layer and layer mask and we'll start off with the hide all hide all is black show all is going to be white so we can easily do that now i'm just going to do a kind of a freehand thing like this notice the white corners here the white outline that shows me that i'm currently on the mat if we go over here we're on the image and then we go over here and this is going to be where we'll be doing our masking out if I want to show, show is white. So I'll just choose white as my foreground color. Choose the paint bucket. Make sure you're on the mask there and then click in there and that 
comes in and paints that white again since we are using that selection that marquee that had that feathered edge we get that soft edge let's just deselect so now I have the same look as you can see here but I haven't touched my original and I'm seeing it through the mask I can move this around now anywhere I want to it actually moves the whole image around they're linked together if I want to move the image inside of this something else which we couldn't do with that first technique unlink those go over here click on your image you can then move your image around inside of your vignette and get it exactly where you want so you have flexibility here by using a layer mask once you have that in position go ahead and lock that in place so that's what I would recommend is to use a layer mask instead of doing anything on the actual image so you have the ability to come in here and make adjustments you also can change this if you want to I can delete this layer mask do a new one and do a whole new vignette without ever touching my image all right let's now take a look at our rows here we go there's the rows so let's drag it down here float it bring that in get rid of that now so here's our rows which we'll be putting in the background now, right now it's in front of so I'll pull that down behind you can see how it goes in behind the image there we go and it's in front of of course our white background now I have some stuff down here I don't want so I'm going to use the magic wand on that I'll have the contiguous unselected and I'll bring the tolerance up to about 35 and then I'll just click in there let that select all that stuff hit the delete key and remove that and do it again right down here and delete and so we can get that last little bit right in there and that should do it and deselect so there's our, our rows in behind and we can then fade that rows out this is simply a matter of just adjusting the opacity bring it down a bit like that so it's just kind of a secondary picture then put our secondary rows in here I'm just going to grab this layer copy the layer put it down here to the new layer button there it is there's the copy you can put it down here someplace just a secondary rows in behind us we see a little bit of background showing on that one I missed a little bit so I'll go back here to magic wand click in there and let's just clean that out in a little bit right there and there we go so there is our vignette now the whole key again to doing this is to do this on a layer mask instead of doing it right on the picture use the same tools use your marquee tools in here use your feathering edge for that soft edge just do the the vignette on the layer mask instead of on the actual image that way we can always go back and change or adjust or whatever else you want for instance I go over here I can right click on this and disable the layer mask and there's my original again I can right click and enable it and bring it back on so lots of flexibility if you right click other options we can delete that we can apply it to the image as well which I don't recommend doing it add the mask to a selection make a selection insert we can even refine the mask we'll be talking more about refine masks a little later on then we have some masking options in here there's the color for the mask if you're working with masking on that but there you go that is the best way to approach doing this kind of vignette which will give you freedom for adjustments and modifications later on thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here you can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here and then thank you again for watching this training video